All right, in video two, I'm gonna create a keystroke program. I want a program that will do a certain function, will, a certain manipulation to complex numbers. I want it to display a complex number in rectangular format if the entry on the stack is a complex number. And if the entry on the stack is not a complex number, then I want it to remove any tags that are associated with that entry on the stack. So I want a program that does those two things. So this will be our first keystroke program. Now, when you load the DM, or the C47 software onto the DM42, um, it comes with a bunch of programs installed. And you can see this by going to the execute key and then press the program key. And there's all of these programs installed, which I don't know what they do. Um, certainly they can be researched on the website to see what they do and why they're there. They're example programs, but they're of no value to me since I don't know how to use them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is clear all of those programs out of the calculator. So I'm gonna to go to the clear menu. So it's two shifts and then clear. Well, first I have to exit this menu because I started an execution. So, okay, exit out of that. Now two shifts, then clear. And then on the F6 key, there's a delete menu. So two shifts, delete. And on the F4 key, it says delete programs all. And we say yes. So I've got ridden, rid of all the programs, and now I can exit out of this menu. And if I try again, now execute, and then select program, now you'll see there's an empty list. There are no programs on the calculator. And this is what I prefer because I'm gonna write a program and I wanna be able to find it easily in the list. And also I'd like to know what all the programs on my calculator can do. So let's exit out of this and write the program. We do this by going shift program, okay? And this will be program number one. Uh, if there were other programs in memory right now, you might have to, well, then you would have to press the shift go to key. It's two shifts and then go to, and then the decimal period, uh, decimal um, point two times. And this tells us to go, or tells the calculator to go to the end of memory so that the program that you're gonna wanna, that you wanna write goes, uh, is, is entered at the end of the memory space. Um, I'm already at the end of memory space because there are no programs, so I don't need to do that. So to write a program, we always need to start with a label. So I can do two shifts and select label here. Oops, it didn't take it. So I'm gonna do backspace to delete that command. I only got one shift. So two shifts, then label. And I'm gonna name this program double right arrow R-E-C-T for convert complex number to rectangular format. So to do this, now I go into the alpha menu. Okay, and I want a symbol. So, or which is under miscellaneous. So I'm gonna do shift F4 to get the miscellaneous menu. And this is where all the different characters are that don't, uh, you know, that are miscellaneous, let's say. So I did up arrow and on the F3 key, if I do shift, that's my double right arrow. That's what I wanted there, okay? Now I'm still in alpha numeric entry mode and this enunciator at the top, the capital A, tells us that the characters that I, the keys that I press now are gonna give me characters. So I wanna label this R-E-C-T. So if I find the R right here and press it, E, C, T, and then enter, that's the name of my program. Now, like I said, I wanna check if the number on the stack is a complex number, then I wanna convert it to rectangular format. So I do that with a test. So two shifts and select test. And then if I do down arrow, there's a test if the number on the stack is complex, okay? Now the way this works is that if it's true, then the program will execute the next line following this test. And if the result is false, then it will skip the next line following this test. So if it's complex number is true, then I wanna convert the number to rectangular format. So that's two shifts and then to rectangular format on the cosine key. And that's it for that function. And if it's not complex, then don't do this conversion. And then I wanna do one more test. I wanna test if the number is real. So the menu is already open for me still. And if it is real, then I wanna remove the tag, if there is a tag. Um, and I can do that by selecting two, two shifts and then the dot D, which shows up in the catalog, interestingly enough, as a convert to real. So what'll happen here is if it's a real number, Without a tag, it'll just convert it to a real number, which means no change. If it's a real number that has a tag associated with it, then it'll be converted to a real number with no tag. Uh, and that's the function I want. 
So that's it for this program. It's just these six steps. So I'm now going to exit. I have to press this several times to close close the menus. Whoops, it actually did clear mode. That's not what I want. So I'm going to use the back arrow to get rid of that. I just want these six commands, okay? And now I will press exit two more times. Okay, and the program is now created. And to check if it's created, I can go to execute and then press program. And there's one program entry now. It's the one we just wrote. And I can select it to rectangular format. So that's the program I want. And that's the end of this video. In the next video, I'm going to create my custom user menu that has all the functions I want to work with complex numbers. So I will see you in video number three.